Hello friends, it's Jay here from Encore Digital. We are now in our part four of value investing analysis with Python series. In our last series, we fetched the data, uh, take our stocks and we saved that into our Postgres SQL. So in this particular uh, part, we are gonna fetch all the financial data. As we discussed, we're gonna fetch the income statement, balance sheet and all the data. So let's get started. Uh, so this is our, um, we created ticker list last time, so let's create another file. So we're gonna get the historical data. So I'm gonna say historical data.py. So let me open this one. Okay. So we're gonna fetch the data from our APIs as you guys have shown me this one. If if you guys are just seeing into part four. If you haven't checked my previous videos, please check because it's a series and we are continuing from that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fetch the income statement balance sheet and all those sort of things. Okay, let's start it. So in this one, we will do, okay, we're gonna import the requests because we're gonna fetch the uh, URLs, uh, data from the URLs, and then we're gonna import our, we need to connect to our database which is our postgres sql and then we will need json uh, because all the data is in json we're gonna pass that one okay so next one i'm gonna make a connection so why not i use the little bit code which i did last time okay so this was our so this is a connection string from our ticker list so which we did in last lecture so let me make a connection so nothing has changed so that's my username password and this is host okay good okay now i'm gonna okay let's do first of all underscore name equal to underscore main and then we're gonna call the main function okay let me define the main function first define Okay. So what we're gonna do is, as you guys um, know, when we saved all our data in our tickers. So let me quickly show you. So if I go to select start from tickers. So if I do this, then these are all our stocks. So um, 2827. And uh, so we need. If, if I show you this API, as you can see, uh, this URL is same. The only thing changing is the ticker uh, symbol. So we're gonna change that one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through database, fetch all the stocks, um, the, this uh, ticker, and then we're gonna append with this URL to fetch the data for the income statement balance sheet and so on. So what I'm gonna do here is, okay, so first of all, we need to fetch from our uh, database so i'm gonna make a cursor connection okay then we're gonna execute gonna execute our so that is our select so i think it is the column name is stock Yes, it is. Uh, this one is stock. So select because we just need the ticker name. Select stock from tickers. Okay. Then I'm gonna fetch all. So rows would be cursor dot fetch all. Okay. So now I'm gonna get all those ones. So for row in rows. So now I'm gonna go um, into each one because um, then I'm gonna do the four. So now let me do my try catch. This is to in case there is any any issue, uh, then we'll capture that uh, exception. Now, because what we're gonna do here is in this for loop, we're gonna fetch the data from, from the for income statement balance sheet now there might because there are 2827 stocks there might be some of the data might not be at the api uh, what we don't want is then we are running when a program because program gonna take two three hours to run uh, it's a lot of data so what we don't want today is it breaks and then we figure it out okay, it breaks and then we have to kick off again so what i'm gonna do is if there is an exception i'm gonna continue it basically skip that stock and go to the next stock 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is table is equal to row zero. Now, as you know, we have fetched only stock, which is the at zero location of the row and row is each of them. So that's what I'm doing. So if we can check that one if this uh, is working. So we're just gonna display table for now. So let's see. Uh, let me pause this. Let me start again on this. So, okay. So let me go to CMD. We go to. So this is my environment scripts. I'm gonna go to this one. Now we are in the domestic folder where our instructor is. Brilliant. Okay. So now I'm gonna do is that so Python story uh, data dot by. So let's see. It's right here. This is fetching all the data from from our database, which is brilliant. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one. So now we have got a data. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a URL. So let's uh, do the URL for our income statement first. So go here. Let me click here. So this is our URL. Let me go pick it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now here is the apple. So what we want is we don't want. Of course, we want it as not as a hard code value. So what we're gonna do is plus tip. So now this gonna do is that whatever the sticker is here, it's gonna fetch the data for that one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the response. Okay, so we're gonna get the response uh, with this request dot get and we're gonna do the URL. Now like like I mentioned in the last one, I prefer to give user agent as well. So I'll copy from my previous uh, from our previous lecture, but I'll do the URL. I explained it, I think, in the last lecture, so I'm not going to repeat it. So, user agent, I'm going to get UF. Okay, let's start from the previous user agent. Okay, it's the user agent we were using. So, let me do the previous one. Okay, I'm going to make it, yeah, just after here. Okay, yeah, so I have the UA, I have the response. Okay, now I have a response. So this is the income statement because it's an income statement. So let me create a variable which I'm going to get income statement and I'm gonna save here in, because it's JSON. So I'm gonna JSON dot done and then I'm gonna do this once dot JSON. Brilliant. Okay, so this should have fetched all the all the data. Uh, we will test it so I will carry on uh, because what I will do is that rather than testing this one one I will get all other ones as well that we test together so I'm just going to quickly copy this one so because what I'm going to do is that it's going to remain the same so next I'm going to get is the balance sheet so what I will change this one to balance underscore sheet and I have to change the URL so I'm going to get the balance sheet so here if I go to this one I will copy this and then I change the URL of the balance sheet. I need to go so this is balance sheet. This line remains the same. That's response and balance sheet. We have changed the variable. I'm going to get it. Again, I'm going to copy it. So here I'm going to do for the cash flow statement. So cash flow, cash flow. Okay. And now we're going to get the cash flow URL. So, which is this one? So, I'm gonna keep pressing the space bar. Um, then this one is, yeah, okay. Brilliant. So, I got the cash flow sheet man. Now, let me copy this one again. So, uh, so what are we doing here? As, as you already know that in our database, so we created. If I go to the financials, so let me say, so let's start from financials. Uh, it is empty, but you have to see we have income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, enterprise value, key metrics, and financial growth. We have gone through all these ones in our previous lectures. I'm not going to repeat it, but we're going to get these three uh, as well. 
So, okay, so next one is the enterprise. Okay, so next one is our enterprise value. Enterprise underscore value. So, in this one, let's get our cash flow, flow enterprise value. This and I'm going to change the URL. Get rid of that. Oh, uh, request response is fine. Okay, please. Okay, now I'm going to So I'm going to do the next one is our key metrics. So if I go to key metrics, okay, copy this URL. Change the URL here. Okay. And I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, response, uh, just response and key underscore And the last one we had in our table is financial growth. So let me go here. Financial growth. So I'm going to copy this one, change our URL, change this, okay, and then I'm going to change our financial underscore growth. So financial underscore growth. So that should get all the data in each of them. So what I'm going to do is, then, okay, now we have a data. Now we're going to insert it into our database and before that I'm going to make a I'm going to collect all the data and we'll insert in one so I'm creating a variable this is an array and then in this one we have our table so because uh, our uh, ID is, is uh, auto increment but we have to give stock which is our ticker name and then we can have these five or six uh, variables so table and then we have all of the variables we have those ones. Straight man, balance sheet, cash flow, enterprise value, key and score metrics, and financial flow. So that covers all our variables. Now, what I'm going to do is um, so I'm gonna insert now uh, into our database. For that, I will write a separate um, method for that one. But let's I'm gonna create this function and I'm gonna pass the, this array. And once I insert and once it's done, then I'm gonna print it so that we can see. Um, which stock is going to be going on because like I mentioned gonna take I think it might take two hours two three hours a lot of data um, but at least we can see what it is and then if there is an exception that will be printed as well so okay so let's uh, create our method for insert so which will be def insert before I do anything wrong, yeah, same thing. And then I'm gonna here add data. Okay. So there we are passing the data. Now I'm gonna write a SQL statement, which would be insert into financials. That is our uh, table name. And then I'm gonna save stock um, income statement. I think I named all of them exactly balance sheet, cash flow, enterprise value, key metrics, financial growth. Yes, I have uh, named all the variables as the table's name. So let me do these ones. So, what I will do is I will copy these ones and then I'm gonna yeah okay I think I did the income statement so stock income statement balance sheet cash flow enterprise value key metrics financial growth so I'm gonna set it financials um, and the values would be um, so 
so they are six and seven of them so percentage s i'm gonna So I got um, done the sequel. Now I'm gonna have um, uh, then I'm gonna do the cursor, and for the cursor I'm gonna do connection dot cursor, and then I'm gonna say cursor dot execute, and I'm gonna get SQL data. And then I'm gonna do connection dot commit because we are inserting. I have to commit the data, and then I'm gonna close the cursor. Okay, uh, this is f underscore data. So that should insert. And now the only thing is if I run it now. It's gonna loop through all the data and I don't want to run 2000. Let, let's first check if it's working. So I'm gonna break break the for loop after one run. So basically it's gonna run and if um, uh, we will see and then we break and then what we'll do is we will delete the data in the database and then we run it completely. Okay, let's try this uh, if it works. So let me clear. Uh, so we're gonna say Python historical data dot ey. So if I run this one, fingers close. So let's see. It's gonna take time. Yeah. Okay. So it has done. Brilliant. So let me go through select financials. Let me rerun. Okay. As you guys can see, we have now data. So all the um, I think it's Cisco uh, CMC yes stock. So this is the income statement. Let's quickly check if has pulled through. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that has income statement. Uh, yes, this is the financial state balance. It's the balance, balance sheet. Uh, this, yeah, it is cash flow. It is enterprise values. Yeah, that's all the ratios. And that's financial growth. Brilliant. So, as you guys can see, we are fetching all the data. Brilliant. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this data because we just tested. I'm going to rerun it. Um, the thing is, I, if I don't delete it, I have because the uh, stock is. Um, unique value so it will fail uh, otherwise i have to skip the first row rather than messing here with our code i'm gonna just delete this one okay okay it's like financials brilliant so it's not now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove the break and go and let it run now guys this is gonna take two three hours i assume as you can see for one it paused for one second i do something something like that for almost 3000 it's gonna take that much time hopefully not that long let's see but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause this uh, let, let me run it first uh, so that you guys can see so let me uh, okay so let's see let, 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 uh, we will do two three and then as you can see now printed kmi and we will let it run so i will pause the video and once it is done i will be back speak soon okay it's completed now so let's quickly check our database i'm gonna rerun this query okay brilliant so we have got now all the data uh, 2827 rows uh, so yeah so i will conclude this part so what we will do in the next part is now we have the data so now in next part we will run um, all the filters and uh, and criteria based on Benjamin Graham is in the intelligent investor um, and also what I have done is the the code uh, if you want to have a look I have uploaded it to um, github uh, so like I'm last time mentioned so all the code is here uh, I will add this link uh, to, to the video so thanks guys for watching and see you guys in the next uh, part cheers bye